I've drawn attention to the timing of Wednesday's tragedy. It came at the heels of a momentous vote in the Nebraska legislature repeal of the death penalty. The repeal faces a promised veto, but that veto could be very well overridden, as Brandon Scott reports. There will be no prosecution for the man police say pulled the trigger and killed Officer Carrie Orozco. 26-year-old Marcus Wheeler died as a result of the wounds he received in the firefight. But even if he survived and was convicted, he never would have been executed if a repeal of Nebraska's capital punishment law stands. Less than two hours before Officer Orozco was shot, senators here at the Capitol voted to repeal the death penalty, an action that some critics believe is weak on crime. The most uh, heinous uh, crimes committed against fellow Nebraskans deserves the, the most, the ultimate punishment. Um, and that's what the death penalty is. Bo McCoy represents Nebraska's 39th district, which includes Western Douglas County. He's led the fight to keep capital punishment, but yesterday he lost, with senators voting 32 to 15 to abolish it, replacing executions with life in prison. I believe that there are members of the legislature who are willfully disregarding what previous legislatures have done to get smart and tough on crime. They were casting a principled vote based on conviction. Omaha Senator Ernie Chambers pushed the repeal and calls yesterday's vote the culmination of his tenure in the legislature. This amounts to taking the state where I live out of the killing business, which it has been in ever since its inception. I don't know of any issue that could be of that magnitude. And we should note that it was 20 years ago this summer when Omaha officer Jimmy Wilson Jr. was killed in the line of duty. His killer was convicted of first degree murder but didn't get the death penalty. Instead, he is serving a life in prison sentence. Now, uh, Governor Pete Ricketts has vowed to veto this death penalty repeal, but the legislature can overturn that veto with just 30 votes. And since 32 senators already support it, it looks like that veto might not stand. Coming up at 630, we'll hear more from Senator McCoy including why he says that his fight isn't over and how yesterday's tragic officer killing here in Omaha could inspire new legislation down in Lincoln. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Danker, Brandon Scott, WOWT 6 News.